Mom asks if I'm dating Andrew Luck. And I say, what the fuck? I say, he's literally a foot and a half taller than me. How would that logistically even work? I say, it took me 30 minutes to figure out who he was. I'm a poet, mom. I don't watch sports. I say, really? We're doing this again? I say, I knew this was too good to be true. I say, is the thought of me dating the quarterback of the Indiana Colts that much more believable than me dating a woman? But I don't say any of that. Mom asks if I'm dating Andrew Luck, and I become nervous chuckle, lowercase ha-ha at the end of a text that's been rewritten three times. I become high schooler again. I am pulled back through time, and suddenly I'm sitting on my bed. It's three in the morning, crying, watching coming out videos, my hands curled in a fuzzy blanket. Mom asks if I'm dating Andrew Luck, and the blanket is yanked from my hands. The blanket is yanked from my hands. It's June 12th, I'm standing alone on a sidewalk learning what it means to be vulnerable for the first time. Later that day, mom will deny my request to go to Pride because it is too dangerous. Mom asks if I'm dating Andrew Luck and I get it. I know she crossed an ocean to raise her daughters in a land that would keep them safe, yet here I am adding another reason why this world wants me gone. Mom asks if I'm dating Andrew Luck and I remember that it's my fault for being bisexual for leaving open the possibility that I could still be normal. It's high school again, and I'm staring at my best friend's curly bangs, making myself the promise that unless I marry her, my mom is never going to find out about this. Sometimes I wonder, if I ever get married, what kinds of wedding dresses me and my future wife will wear? Mom would like that, the chance to design two whole saris. She would drag us to five different stores, make us sit for measurements every other day to make adjustments. We would argue about the color. I think I would want red, but she would want yellow. We'd compromise on me in red, my future wife in yellow, and all three of us there that day. Mom asks if I'm dating Andrew Luck, and that future dissolves. Everything dissolves, and fuck, maybe I'm not queer if my identity is that easy to destabilize, but fuck, didn't I stop second guessing this after high school, or the first kiss, or the first time, but fuck, isn't this what it's always going to be like? An identity that's easy to ignore, to hide, to push to the back of a closet, a future that is always uncertain, always on the edge between here and stolen. Mom asks if I'm dating Andrew Luck, and I want to say yes. I'm dating a man. No. I'm not attracted to women. Yes, I'm normal. No, I'm sorry for making you worry. Yes, I'm lying. No, I'm not.